I take it as a compliment when you guys think I'm a trust fund baby. <laughs> it must look like I'm doing really well, right? But I want to talk about young women in business. I myself started my companies around 17, 18. So let's check out some statistics for uh, women and particularly young women. Women are less likely to receive capital funding and the average age of a female entrepreneur is 42. And after five years, you literally have like a 50% chance of succeeding. It's like a fucking coin toss. And I don't have a degree, uh, literally didn't even walk at high school graduation. So when I have a problem, I Google it. That's what I do, I just Google it. But the first five years were fucking tough. I had to, I was stripping and I used all my money to invest in the business. I had no social life. Um, no one believed in me, especially my family. Plus being an S worker, I was already like the disgrace. So I remember when my clothes first got in Nylon Magazine and I did a speaking event for Shopify that year. Like that's when people started like supporting and really like rooting for me. But it was extremely difficult. When I had problems, like I couldn't call my friends and be like, what do I do about like payment processor fees that won't accept my 18 up products? And then like, Older entrepreneurs like I looked up to didn't really give me the time of day. And that's the thing with being an entrepreneur. Failures are just learning lessons. So like you welcome failure and the better entrepreneur you are, the better you are at just surviving and grinding and just taking the losses and finding the wins. And not everyone that follows me will understand that. I'm getting a lot of new followers from that video that went viral. But I find it odd like the American dream is to like build your own company, make your own money. But then once you are, like the money doesn't change you, it changes the people around you. It affects your friend and family relationships when you are treated like a bank account. I don't know, it's just, it's not like talked about. And I know this may not be relatable, but like it still hurts to feel used. So to the people that are like, oh, well you just made poor business decisions. It wasn't a rock that did it. Yeah, I'm. I hold myself accountable for not making the perfect decisions. I got myself into this hole, I'm gonna get out of it. My whole point of sharing this with you is that I'm not gonna give up. And I hope that any of you who are starting a business just aren't afraid to fail, because it's gonna happen. But when people ask me advice on how to get started with a business, I'm just like, don't get started. 